I'm showing you how to use ArisOS for 1.8.9. To download ArisOS for 1.8.9, you can go over to their official website, ArisOS.net, which will also actually be linked down in the description, together with my Discord server, and I'd greatly appreciate it if you could join that. Anyways, here you will find the installer. If you don't want the installer, which you know some people don't want that, you can also download the zip file, and the explanation for that is right over here. That's just if you don't want the installer. The installer makes it a lot easier, so I recommend you click on download right over there, and the download will automatically start. Now, to be able to actually use this, you do need the Java binary platform installed. You'll have that already if you've ever modded Minecraft before, for example, with Forge or Fabric, or if you've ever installed any other client, you will have that. If you don't have it, or you're not sure, I'll link it down in the description. Anyways, um, You'll also find out if you have it right now, you want to double click on this and that's automatically going to open it up. If that doesn't work, you want to right click on it, go over to open with and then select the Java platform right over here. Right, so that's basically the program I just said you needed. If it doesn't work by double clicking on it, that's the method you'll need to use. Here we have the Aristos installer, we can click on continue, then we can choose our Minecraft version which is going to be 1.8.9. The launcher, I'm just going to keep that at vanilla. I want a clean install, and we can click on next. Then, unless you've changed your Minecraft directory, which I assume most of you haven't, if you have, you'll know you have. So most of you can just click on install right over here, and as you can see, the installation is already complete. So now we can close this. Now, because this was simply the installer, you can delete it if you do wish to do so, and we can open up the Minecraft launcher. Once the Minecraft launcher is opened up, it's going to be automatically selected over here. If it isn't, you can just select it, and then we can click on play. And of course, understand the risks of playing modded Minecraft. Upon opening it up for the first time, you'll get a little bit of an explanation here, although I am actually going to be explaining everything as well, um, so you don't need to worry too much about that. We can continue over here. Of course, they're going to ask you to donate, which, if you can, then... I suppose, why not? And we can continue over here, and here we are on this beautiful page. Aristos is one of my favorite home screens of all clients out there. Anyways, we're just going to go over to single player, and go into a world, and I'll briefly show you how to use it. I actually also have an in-depth tutorial, which shows you literally everything you'll need to know. Anyways, right now, I'm just going to show you enough to get started. Most of it is going to be quite self-explanatory. As you can see in the top right-hand side, we need to press right shift, and that's going to open this up right over here. This is called the click GUI, right? And basically, here we have sorted by type. Um, all of the utilities that this client has to offer, right? You can scroll in some of these. Make sure you don't forget that. Some people accidentally miss a bunch of stuff because of that. Now, as you can see, there are some that have been automatically enabled, some that have been pinned as well. You can pin them yourself too. And you can, of course, search for stuff as well through there. Now, these utilities, you can click on them and that's going to enable them. Click on them once again to disable them. If you hover above them, you'll get a brief description. And if you right click on them, you'll get a little bit of... Well, this is a customization menu. Some of these have more customization, as you can see. Some of them less. Um, either way, for most of these, you should be able to set a keybind through here. There is also another method to set keybinds, and I'm going to get to that shortly. Anyways, you can close this by pressing on Escape, and you'll see that we do have a few things. Well, actually, something in every single corner of our screen, right? And we can open this back up, and we'll see that we have some movement in info, performance info. These are all things that are automatically enabled. They're under the heads up display category as you can see here these are all things that are going to be able to show up on your screen we can right click on them to determine what we actually want to be showed however we can also turn these off and now as you can see there we are they're no longer in the bottom of our screen we can also open this up again turn off the active mods and that's going to disable the thing in the top right hand side of our screen you'll you will have noticed there was a little thing there um, I can turn that back on real quick, and then I can turn on maybe all these things. Oh dear. Um, and as you can see, they're now all in a large list. 
um, at the top over there. All right, um, also worth noting that um, opening this up does actually pause the game. It functions the same as the escape menu. You'll notice that in the top left over there, we have something known as the tab GUI. You can use the arrows as I am using right now um, to open that up. As you can see, select stuff. Um, it can be kind of confusing. So you can also just open this up and turn that off if you don't want that on your screen either. I'll turn off the active mods as well. And now, as you can see, we have nothing anymore. You can also open up the chat with a dot. A dot is basically the command prefix for this client. As you would in regular Minecraft, use the slash. If for Aristos, you use the dot. I'm going to type in dot help right over here. You can too. And now, as you can see, we'll get pages basically of all of the commands that this client has to offer you can see after all of these commands we actually also have the usage so dot fake and then you put a message behind it dot give and then the item and then the amount right and now this is also where we can actually choose key binds so i believe the um i don't see it right here oh there it is dot set bind and then the mod name so what mod name do we want let's get radar so i can do dot set bind and then radar there we are hit enter and now as you can see i can press any key or mouse button to set a bind for it let's go l and now as you can see the radar will be turned on or off when i press on l which is definitely pretty cool you'll be able to do that for each module um, and you can get a list of your key binds by pressing on dot binds right over there anyways you can actually also as you can see set a custom key bind for this menu if you do wish to do so but i quite like the right shift anyways basically that was that if you want a more in-depth tutorial about really everything that this client has then make sure you check the tutorial linked in the description but for right now thank you ever so much for watching and i do hope to see you again in the next one Bye bye